Hello everyone, welcome back to another Ashes to Beauty art video. I'm your artist, Karis Fiesel, and in this video you will watch the process of my second live event painting. This was done during a benefit art auction in support of the organization Downside Up in Chattanooga, and the painting later auctioned off for $850 towards the end of the event. Downside Up's mission is to help families with children who have special needs. Check out this website for more information about this amazing organization and the various events they host throughout the year for families and children. Now without further ado, let's jump into the painting process. In preparation for this event, I primed a 3 by 2 foot canvas using modeling paste and a palette knife to create a really nice texture before covering the canvas with black paint. Then I proceeded to block out the butterflies and exactly where I wanted them to go on the canvas. In my limited experience with these live event paintings, I have found it best to paint the background color of the canvas and block out the subjects the night before the event so during the event people can watch the more interesting detailed part of the painting unfold. I chose my color palette and subject for this piece based on one of the symbols for autism awareness, the blue butterfly. And I specifically wanted each butterfly to be different, so I used my own artistic interpretation of the Blue Mountain Swallowtail, the Blue Morpho, and the Red Spotted Purple Butterfly, which is actually blue, but that's just a minute observation of detail. <laughs> Painting live at an event in front of people is obviously very different than painting in my studio. There is an added thrill and intensity to the painting process because of the time limit and the addition of people watching. It is important for me to focus on the painting as a whole and less on the specific tiny details to keep the painting process moving at a steady pace. One technique that helps me is to use big sweeping brush strokes to discourage myself from focusing on making it look too realistic. That effect is what I'm doing here in the background, and later you will see the third, smaller butterfly start to emerge from those brush strokes. I love butterflies because they are symbolic of change and transformation. Starting out as caterpillars, crawling around and eating leaves and struggling to climb over blades of grass while not knowing what the future has in store resonates with many aspects of my own life. But then comes the transformation, when everything changes. While their size remains relatively the same, perspective and abilities increase as a butterfly. Their once small plant world becomes limitless sky. And in order to enjoy all the benefits of this new life, the butterfly's past struggles are necessary to get to this point of freedom. As someone who has lived with cerebral palsy all my life, it was an absolute honor to be able to share my story and help out this amazing organization. I get asked a lot when people find out that I paint during events, if I'm ever nervous about making a mistake in front of the onlookers watching my painting process. Because of the tremors and muscle spasticity I deal with, I make a lot of mistakes while painting. But I've just come to accept that the mistakes are just as important as the rest of the process to complete a masterpiece. I wanted to show the kids there at the event who deal with various disabilities and birth defects that their disabilities don't define who they really are. Just like when I use my deformed hands to create beautiful pieces of art, they too can turn their disabilities into abilities.
About halfway through the painting, I had a helper, Luca. His reaction was priceless when I asked him if he wanted to help out with the painting. And he became even more excited when he realized he was on camera. I must say I was pretty impressed with his addition to the painting. He knew exactly what to do with adding brush strokes to the background in areas it was lacking. Painting on an easel used to be extremely difficult and almost impossible for me to do. The angle of the canvas made it frustratingly hard to stabilize my hand, which is very important to minimize the tremors while I paint. Thankfully, I eventually found a way to stabilize my hand with my face so I could get the paint where I wanted it on the canvas. Halfway through the first butterfly, I decided to paint the veins and the wings with gold as a subtle acknowledgement to the Japanese pottery art form, Kintsuji. It's an art of taking broken pieces of pottery and putting them back together with gold, making them even more valuable than they were before. The biggest lesson I've learned during my life is that God, the creator of all the universe, will show his strength through my greatest point of weakness if I ask him to. He cares for you and I that much he makes what was broken whole again. As a finishing touch, I splattered paint around the area where the small butterfly is emerging from the brush strokes to create some movement in the painting. All in all, I was very pleased with how this painting turned out, and I'm glad the lady who won this piece loved it as well. As always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for my next video.